23 April 2020, and I'm joined by Mr. Albert Matapo from the Zimbabwe People Power Movement. How are you, sir? I'm fine, I'm fine. Thank you very much, Mr. Gambako. How about you? Very well. Today we're talking about the Chinese influence in Zimbabwe. We saw this week at least 140 Chinese coming into Zimbabwe. What is happening? Yes, uh, this is very important, uh, Mr. Gambakwe. Last time you spoke about uh, the Chinese working with the uh, uh, ZANU-PF government to set up a military base in uh, Kariba as well as in uh, Chiazwa, somewhere there. Uh, this is coming to be very, very true. Because, Mr. Gambakwe, if you look at the pictures, those pictures of those uh, Chinese who are being labeled as uh, med uh, medical experts, I, I, I want to deny that those people are actually military experts instead. Those people, if the people of Zimbabwe want to look at it closely, they will see that those people are almost of the same age, the youngsters. Secondly, the, 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 they are all clean shaven. They have clean uh, the, the shave. Thirdly, the way they stand, the posture, it shows that they are on attention. They are military people who are used to attention. And fourthly, if they were medical experts, we would be seeing, you know, the elderly people, the, the, you know, the, the elderly people as well as even females would be, would be part and parcel. Another very, very important point is the way they stand now, there is no even social distance between, I mean, among themselves. They are not even worried about corona. They, those are military experts. So we are saying, the people of Zimbabwe, look at this close. We are in a big fix as Zimbabweans. Today, if you look at it, they, they are carrying out Muramba China. Instead of taking whatever the money they have, either to revive the economy or to feed people who are suffering, it only points to one thing, that this government knows that they have destroyed or they are busy looting and destroying the economy to an extent that the people of Zimbabwe are going to rise up and face the regime. They are aware of that. And so this is preparation to fight the people. If the people of Zimbabwe, we don't look at things objectively and understand that the, this ED government is there to destroy us, we have no life under this regime. If we wait for 2023 elections, we are going to be left with absolutely nothing. Nothing left for us because everything is being stolen. Everything has been mortgaged to the Chinese people. And so this is the fix that we are facing. They are bringing in a, a, a Chinese military experts so that they can help them in the event of the people of Zimbabwe going or, or carrying out an uprising against the regime, we are going to be slaughtered by these Chinese military experts. So I am urging the people of Zimbabwe to be on lookout, to look around themselves, to look exactly and check what is happening with these so-called so uh, Chinese doctors. How can you bring Chinese doctors to Zimbabwe, where you say there are only three people who died. And yet there are so many countries where there are so many people dying. It only demonstrates that there is something sinister about this whole move. How can you start destroying houses, destroying tax shops? This, instead, we need people to be spaced out. Go and stay in your tax shop. Go and stay in your shack so that at least people are spaced out. Now this government is fighting the people 
so that they drive them to the rural areas. They are not worried about the, this coronavirus. They are just after their own stomachs, just after their own survival. And so this is it, the people of Zimbabwe. We need to think beyond the way we are thinking right now. There was a report this, uh, this morning that the Joint Operations Command, or JOC, will be responsible for allocating vending stores. What do you make of that? Yes, of course. It's, it's exactly in line with what I've just been explaining. That this whole move, look, now they are using JOC to allocate these uh, uh, vending stores. It shows that they want to allocate their own people and they want people to either follow the Zan way or else you are chucked off. Everything is being done tactically in the Zan way and which we should say no to it. They will not give us power in 2023. Let us not wait for that. Otherwise, we are going to be abused even worse. It is very true that Joint Operations Command is now in charge of whatever the market stores. Imagine, they are very, very small things where people just go and sell their things. And the, now the, 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 the state security is responsible for that. And so I am saying the people of Zimbabwe, look at that with the oil, open up your eyes so that we think of something now. Otherwise, we are going nowhere. Why, what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? I'm challenging every Zimbabwean to come forward and join the Zimbabwe People Power Movement now. Okay, then let's look at the deployment. There are estimates that there are over 75,000 soldiers deployed across the country. What do you make of this deployment? Is it making any sense? Everything is not making any sense at all because it, in, it, it involves expenditure. They are just spending money for nothing because they want to promote themselves. But whatever it is, whether the, the, those soldiers, I know they have been deployed and it's not legal, whatever they are doing, but I'm even challenging the soldiers and the police, wherever you are, that it is time that you are deployed for a purpose to save the people instead of saving thieves and criminals. Emerson Munangagwa and team, they are criminals. So, you soldiers, wherever you are deployed, you must know the enemy. The enemy is the person who deployed you there. They have been deployed, that's true. But they have been deployed by the enemy. Right, Mr. Albert Matapo, I think we have covered a number of issues. The first being that the Chinese are actually in Zimbabwe, not as medical experts, but as military experts. We've also covered the issue of Freud and it's not legal whatever they are doing, but I'm even challenging the soldiers and the police, wherever you are, that it is time that you are deployed for a purpose to save the people instead of saving thieves and criminals. Emerson Munangagwa and team, they are criminals. So you soldiers, wherever you are deployed, you must know the enemy. The enemy is the person who deployed you there. They have been deployed, that's true but they have been deployed by the enemy. Right, Mr. Albert Matapo, I think we've covered a number of issues. The first being that the Chinese are actually in Zimbabwe, not as medical experts, but as military experts. We've also covered the issue of how that is linked to the current demolition of properties, which is taking place in Harare and Chitungwiza. You say they know that people are going to eventually arise and they're trying to cower people in advance. Then we looked at the deployment of the military and we said that deployment is, making, is not making any sense at all because the soldiers are not saving the interests of the people. Now let's close out. Everything we are just being pressed and being pressed. And so it is time that we come together and save our nation, save the people. And that's why I have challenged even soldiers, even the police, to understand this situation so that they come to the side of the people. Otherwise, there is nothing for us. It's only left for Emerson Munangagwa and Tim plus his Chinese who are now colonizing us. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Matapo. And I'll talk to you very, very soon. Thank you very much.